Hello friends, now I am going to discuss the input output in our language. In practical app implementations, we need to insert data into programs as input and the programs display the result as output. Our facilitates various ways to insert data for manipulation. We can insert the data via keyboard. Similarly, we can store data as Excel sheet .xls and as a text file .txt in memory and then R can load the data from the memory. Now first of all see different input input options. Now we want to insert data from memory to R. So reading a data from the keyboard. So uh, using scan function using scan function R can receive the data from the keyboard. Suppose written x scan Okay, so we can insert values say 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so 5 items are there. So if you can say 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Similarly, we can use read line for that. So we can use read line function for that. So read line. Okay, so we can write say R language our language okay. so you can see it stores the string our language now from the data frame also we can store data okay. so in this particular uh, section you can write suppose the data table name is a student okay now data dot frame here assume it's a numeric and max marks assume it is numeric as it's numeric okay then write student is equal to edit student okay so the pop up window will come so you can store here say in 2000 maximum say 78 in 2001 maximum marks is say 76 in 2002 maximum marks is 87 in 2003, you can also say 90. So, we just modify this one also. You can add the variables also. So, assume the variable name is gender. Okay. Assume it is character. So, you can store it's a male, female, female, male. So, we can add variables like this way. You just close close this one it automatically it will store the value okay. you just type student so you can see this particular table so in this way also we can insert data now storing time series data for storing time series data we can follow this syntaxes so ts x comma start say 2008 to 1 and frequency as you know it is reading okay. data from the memory okay. so for that we can use following syntaxes now for reading data from memory first of all assume a data set is there in the desktop in desktop there is one data called data R where we store values okay. so roll number gender weight mathematics it's a heading so roll number one male underweight is underweight Ma mathematics marks 90 this one and all are comma separated values okay so this particular data is present in the desktop so first of all you have to select the we have to set 
the working directory so here is the working directory so we have to choose the working directory the, it is a desktop so click here and select folder clear now we can set the working directory now we can fetch the data from the desktop so for that you can write a read table data are removable and set txt and header is there so it's okay now we can write data one so it's a data we can fetch like this way okay similarly we can fetch the data by this index also suppose um, data two read dot csv read dot csv data r dot txt name of the file header is there so then let's say this put header is equal to true okay now you can see the data two values okay now easily you can access the data two values now suppose if you write what append if it is written data two or data to the gender similarly we can see the third column or what first row third column or first row all column or or we can say fourth row all column yes in this way you can access the data also now if you don't remember all this syntax say read dot csv csv is a comma separated value okay so if you don't remember this one so you can browse the file also so for that we may write the syntax data three read table read dot table file dot ch choose okay so header is there so just that's why put header is equal to two okay so it will pop up to one particular window and you can select at it now select desktop okay now in desktop sorry in desktop data file is there data file is there select it and open it so in you can see that data three the data is there clear now you can write this one also dot csv csv okay select the data open and you can see the data three value okay now what you can do uh, storing data using r comma now suppose we have done something and we want to store it into the computer suppose we have create our matrix hold a matrix say matrix the total data is 1 10 n column is equal to 5 okay. so it the data now we can write write dot table x the data okay now the file name you want to store say data 1 dot txt here and opening your close your process okay so you can see because already we have set the working directory is a desktop now you can see the desktop so in okay. desktop so there is one data called data one so click now so you can see this particular matrix okay and it is the end of this particular video